Bioenergy is a part of life in Northwest Montana. It fuels the region's wood products and lumber manufacturing. It also generates power in the Flathead Valley. We are a land of opportunity when it comes to biomass. Some of the challenges we've faced with utilization is that we don't have a big biomass industry here. It's a very small scale, and we have an unlimited, at this point, it seems an unlimited supply of material that could go that way. Having that material bundled and drying in the forest is a fire hazard for a period of time, and when our high priority areas are in the wildland urban interface near homes and cities, that's a challenge for us as well. Bioenergy helps keep forests healthy by providing a market for fire-prone materials with no other value. Obviously forest management is a key and when you talk to people who know about biomass, you know, managing the forest, there's a lot of fuel out there that would help not only manage the forest but also provide generation fuel for biomass resources. So I think it's, it's kind of a, a question of, you know, there's lots of fuel out there, can it be appropriately removed and put into a biomass facility, which would help us with baseload generation issues. Biomass on its face probably is, is the baseload generation component of it, meaning when it's on, it's on. Um, it's not subject to when the wind blows or when the sun shines, it actually is running 24 seven. We source our fuel from a number of different places for, for our, our cogeneration plant. Our primary source is from our mill. We take the bark off of the logs and any waste that we don't, I mean, we squeeze blood out of the turnip in our logs. And so any waste from it or the bark that comes in from those logs then gets used as fuel. It saves us from uh, having to find a market that was almost impossible for our bark and our wood waste. It also cleans up the forest tremendously, helps there. It's a real tangible benefit of having that plant to utilize that wood waste. But even more important, um, and we hear it all the time from the community, they'd much rather see us utilize that forest biomass than seeing it go up in, in flames in a wildfire. Bioenergy heats a local high school during the cold winter using fuel from a nearby forest products manufacturer. The biomass system at Glacier High School came online in the fall of 2007 and we've been online since then, so going into our 10th year. I think the community was very supportive of the system, just the simple fact of being able to reduce uh, your demand on utilities or natural resources, uh, being able to utilize local forest products to do that. It's a very affordable system and I would recommend it. Our current biomass fuel suppliers are RBM Lumber out of Columbia Falls, Montana. Uh, Roy and the staff up there have been very easy to work with. We like the fact that people, especially someone as big as a school system, is using a biomass as opposed to fossil fuel. Biofuels are a renewable resource, less damaging to the environment than fossil fuels are. So within the bounds of not abusing the, the resource of timber, you know, we definitely are in favor of doing as much of the renewable as possible. Bioenergy is part of the region's economic innovation and also a way to have affordable and strong building products that put out less pollution than materials such as concrete and steel. Very simply, it's uh, kind of plywood on steroids. We make large plates of solid lumber up to 40 feet long, 11 feet wide, and up to 14 inches thick. The original intention for CLT is to replace concrete and steel as a construction material. The biomass kind of grew out of our, what we call residuals program. So product that we produce in the manufacturing of CLT, our lower grade residuals, we actually chip and uh, burn in the, the biomass heater, which we use to control the environment in the plant and to help uh, acclimate some of our pro incoming product, especially during the uh, winter months. And one of the greatest features about it is it's made all from wood, which is the only renewable building material there is.